often do you wash your hair? Every, every day. other day. You wash your hair with soap every day. With, well, shampoo. Sh yes. Look All at that 20... head of hair. Look at that. Come on. Go I wash mine show. once a week. Yeah, don't. We're gonna edit that out. We're gonna edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> My hair is better when it's a bit dirty. Aren't we all? David winning. You might not know him by his face because he is a director and producer, but you do absolutely know what he's directed. Let's name some of the stuff he's done. Neon Rider. Stargate Atlantis. The Goosebumps. Breaker High. Andromeda. Boss Girl. Sweet Valley High. Van Helsing. Earth Final Conflict. Friday the 13th. Are You Afraid of the Dark? And a ton of Christmas movies for the Hallmark Channel. There's one that just got released. A time for him to come home. Ladies and gentlemen, we're so excited to talk to our guest today, David Winning. Yeah! Hey guys. Hello. Just quickly, let me tell you guys, and I heard about you, is my very good friend, Eric Keenleyside, little brilliant interview that you did with him. And I thought, these guys are cool. I want to get on this show. You're very correct. We are cool. <laughs> Obviously. What motivated you that got you into directing? What was your spark? I have the corny story of getting the yeah. Super 8 millimeter camera my 10th birthday, started to make these movies in the backyard and I got so into it in my teen years. I shocked my dad one day by saying, why don't we just buy a bunch of film stock and go out and make our own movie? I got a <laughs> clip of sequence. Listen, I talked to your girlfriend back there. Yeah, she's worried about you. Yeah, she kind of reminds me of my girl. She wanted me to come out here and get you. That was cool. 1980. Yeah, 79, 80. I was 19 and I was just sort of desperate to try and do anything. And I got a Canada Council grant to make this little 15 minute short film. And I look at it now and I just laugh because it's so bleak. So you shot sequence, the short, and then you developed it into a full script, which became Storm. Which we shot in the summer of 83. Took me all of my 20s to finish. Was it money? Is that why you killed two people? You don't understand. I it up. Love it, boy. You guys do your research so well, you're going to show me a clip and I'll forget I've directed it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's a clip from Storm. That's my first feature that I got. Made it with no distributor in place. The Canon group in the yeah. late 80s said, yeah, we'll buy that. And then they found out that it was only 75 minutes long. It was extremely naive. I said, well, advance me some of the money and I'll go out and shoot more of the movie. But we cracked this movie open and we shot an additional 20 minutes. What was it like when somebody did hire you as a director? It was a shock. I started directing a series called Friday the 13th. I was in the Director's Guild book. Someone had gotten sick or bumped on the show and they were flipping through the book and they said winning sounds positive hire this kid yeah. they flew me to toronto based on my name and i got there and they're like how old are you 35 i was 26 oh. and suddenly i'm in charge of this crew of about 130 people paramount tv series and i was just terrified it's when you're actually making movies or somebody else it all has to happen within 12 hours it has to be good or else there'll be another director tomorrow van helsing You're looking at a kid in the candy store when I got to direct this series. Probably the most fun I've had in the last 10 years. Quite a gruesome show, but just tons of action. I was simultaneously directing Hallmark Channel Christmas movies. By day, we're lighting Christmas movies, and by night, we're slitting throats. How did Hallmark happen? The goal here is to make a really dramatic, tear-jerking, beautiful family movie that outlives you. This year, I did the fifth Blake Shelton series. What if you received a message that wasn't meant for you? I miss you, Maddie. But I'm trying to make things right. I like to think that she's the one that got away. He sounds like he really loves her. I've just finished my 25th movie for the Hallmark Channel. I'm proud of them. I'm really proud of them. Positive entertainment. And in dark times, that's kind of what people need. That's what they gravitate yeah. to. People can follow you on your website, davidwinning.com. You're on Twitter, on Facebook, Instagram. Thank that was so fun, much. guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, what a lovely man. No one makes nice great man. movies. <laughs> Cheers, ladies. That was a great interview. Nice Cheers. Like. Comment. Share. Subscribe.